Yeah, we get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. They're almost in. <laughs> this is really not good. Our base is it's <laughs> collapsed. <laughs> oh my god. The walls are down. Yeah, I got him I got this dude boxed. <laughs> Jordan's on the other side of him now. Oh, he's dead dead. <laughs> oh no 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 Guys, I'm I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. You see this? You see whose fault this is? I was trying to make a melee farm! Timber, this is all your fault. This is your fault, Timber. So those clips that you just saw was me and my faction's attempt at defending against 50 stream snipers all trying to raid me. I decided it would be a great idea to do a stream Friday night and work on the base while we were just still starting to create it and guys it was a terrible idea. <laughs> but anyways it's been a couple of days since that and guys I'm kind of here to show you guys our 1 billion dollar base. Now I'm not entirely sure the exact amount of money that we put into it but I did kind of some rough calculations and on average I'm thinking it's somewhere around a billion coins. Now honestly I think that's the most I've ever put into a faction base and I gotta give a huge shout out to my faction i pretty much did nothing to make this base i maybe did a couple of the walls and a little bit repair after we got raided but huge shout out to my faction for getting this base done it looks amazing and pretty much today we're just going to kind of look at a little bit of it as well as showing you guys how i'm able to make approximately 30 million coins every single hour anyways i think with that said i hope you guys all do enjoy this video please leave a like on it and just throw something down in the comments whatever i'll try to reply to as many comments as i can anyways i will see you guys in the the video oh also i kind of forgot to mention this but the winner of the giveaway will be shown on screen right here so congratulations and i will be doing more giveaways fairly soon so stay tuned for that anyways ladies and gentlemen this is our one billion dollar titan base obviously i don't want to reveal too much about it especially on the outside here simply because i think my faction would be a little mad if i went through detail on how the base is set up and all the walls and the layout of that but obviously this stuff is up at the top so anyone can see it anyways i don't really see any harm in showing what the walls that we got going here are this season they've done a limit where you can only have up to 10 obsidian walls so we kind of had to keep that in mind while creating this base which obviously that kind of sucks, but it's whatever. We were able to use a whole bunch of other good strategies to defend using like lava, cobblestone, sand, and all that type of stuff. And this is a really great defense, but there is one thing that I want to do just to make it a little bit better. Now I'll get into that later in the video, but for now, one thing that I want to do is open up all of these relics that I got. Literally a stack of each of them. Now I actually asked my faction what the best decryption is for these things, and Dance told me that for the mythical and the legendary, you want to use the hyper decryption. Now this will cost 1.8 million, but we're gonna decrypt those and then as we're gonna do the exact same thing with the legendary relics Now as for the three other rarities You just want to do the standard free version now doing this type of decryption is pretty much the best strategy that you can use So you can get the most amount of money mob coins custom enchant XP and all that stuff now right here is our actual like main F home base So this is kind of where everyone's got to teleport to we have literally just junk in these chests, so don't try to raid it. <laughs> but sometimes we'll have spawners placed in here and people can do grinding. Otherwise, we'll have the spawners placed in other PVs as well. And then one thing that I'm most proud of is my own personal vault. I kind of use a cave type theme with little mine shaft in here. I don't know. I think it looks pretty cool. I like it. Obviously, I've got some ender chests in here, and mostly this is just kind of an area to hang out. I'm not too worried if it gets raided or anything, but I'm just glad I have my own little base that I can call my own. I just like the look of it. Now, I think I've done enough talking and explaining about the base. It's time for me to show you how I'm able to make 30 million coins every single hour with this base. Now, that's obviously a rough estimate, and I'll do some more precise calculations in this video to actually determine how much I can make, but I'm sure a lot of you have guessed it. It's a melon farm. It's pretty common on the server, but this thing is absolutely massive. It goes all the way from bedrock to sky limit, and it is just full of melons. So I think pretty much what I'm going to be doing here is giving myself 20 minutes or so to get as much coins as I can. And then once I'm done with that, I'll multiply that number by three just to see how many coins I can make every hour while using this strategy. But with that said, I will see you guys in 20 minutes. All right, so it has been 20 minutes of mining melons. We started off at 32 and a half million coins and we are now at, we're just gonna round up here, 44 and a half million. So in 20 minutes, we gained 
pretty much just 12 million coins. And like I said earlier, we can multiply that by three, 12 million times three, 36 million coins every single hour. Honestly, guys, if that's not overpowered, I don't know what is. To be fair, I'm just gonna keep the number at 30 million, but it could be upwards of 36 or 40 million coins every single hour. Which, guys, that's just crazy. It's way better than grinding blazes unless you can click, like, 20 CPS constantly. The one downside with melons, though, is you get no player XP, you get no custom enchant XP, no mob coins, no special rewards or anything like that. You literally just get a ton of these stupid blessed melon slices, which the only thing that they can do is when combined with some mob coins and CEXP, you can make a melon farm. I honestly don't know what that is, and I think I might try to make one of those later in this video and just to see what it does. But apart from that, in this melon farm, it still goes all the way all the way up to there. So I still had all of that layers left to mine. I went from here all the way down to here. So I mined a whole bunch of melons, but there is just so many melons in this farm. It is overpowered. Anyways, I think the one good thing about me grinding almost 12 million coins there is one thing that our faction is doing now. We have created a daily quota for all of our players and members in the faction to hit. Basically, everyone has to get 15 million coins every single day. We're doing this so we can afford more spawners and more stuff like that to help us throughout the season. And all we gotta do is just donate them to the faction. So pretty much all we're just gonna do is F bank and we're gonna deposit 15 million, which based on my calculations, you could pretty much grind that out in about a half hour so that's really not that bad considering all people might think oh 15 mil is a lot guys it's not a lot when you have this melon farm <laughs> but anyways there are two things that i do want to work on the base but i'm not going to get to them just yet earlier in the video i did decrypt a whole bunch of relics and i want to see if they're actually done yet uh, my decrypting relics we got a minute and 31 seconds left so i'll just wait here Alright guys, so all the relics have decrypted. We're gonna see how much we made from this. Hopefully it'll be a lot. Okay, so we got pretty much 4 million coins, 9,000 custom enchant XP, 600 mob coins, a ton of keys, as well as some player XP, and obviously you get a bunch of kits with it as well. Now to go claim it, we gotta go to the mailman, and there we go. This is a ton of kits, so I'm finally not broke anymore like I was in my last video. Guys, I literally had nothing after that last video. But anyways, I think one thing we can do here is open up a bunch of custom enchant XP. It looks like we can open 10. Okay, so we got 19 custom enchant books. Let's take a look at what we got. Restore, Iron Army, Lucky Hit, Steel bones, that's actually gonna sell for a fairly good amount. Iron soul as well is gonna sell for a good amount. Paradox, I'm not sure what that does. Passive, auto smelt, interpret, conceal. This one I actually do need, so that's gonna be good. Dragon Ball, extinguish, smash, rush, stonks. Has a chance to give double the drops and breaking crops. So I would put this on my axe and mine melons with it, but the one issue is custom enchants don't work in faction claims. And then we also got springs one. So hear me out, I would put it on there. I just don't really see any purpose in doing that. Who knows though, just in case they do actually add it as a feature in the server, we're gonna throw it on the axe. I don't really care. And then we'll also put restore one on there as well. Anyways, this conceal one is gonna go on my G set. I'm not gonna show you guys the set just yet because I will make a video finishing it up and going PvP with it. It's super overpowered though. It's coming along. I'd say I'm about 90% complete with the G set. So coming up here within the next few weeks, you will be seeing a video with that G set in it. But just looking on AH, I'm seeing these custom enchant books go for a ton of coins. I'm gonna underprice them just a little bit because because I can, I don't know. I'm not too worried about selling them real quick, so I'm just gonna throw them on for whatever. These steel bones, I'm gonna put up for 3.5 mil, just because I have the feeling they will actually sell for that much. And then in theory, if these all do sell, I'll get about six, six and a half million more coins. So that's not bad. So we just ended up actually selling the steel bones books. I don't know if I underpriced them too much, but it's whatever, I don't really care. But we are currently outside of our Titan base and there is something that I wanna do with this. So essentially what I've created here is it's just a little pocket within our base that I can run into. One thing I usually like to do is do PvP outside my base and just try to kill anyone who's just hanging out here because you never know, they might be trying to set up a raid. And honestly guys, I don't want this base to get raided. So pretty much essentially what I'm setting up here is just a little TP trap mechanism. 
It's going to be pretty simple. We'll just have some trap doors here. And then obviously once we do get them inside of here, I'll kind of drop down in here and be able to kill them. I'm going to set it up where it's like this so I can get a ton of good hits and they don't, they're not really able to hit me at all. And then obviously if I need to get out, I can go over here. And then once they're trapped in here, I'll be able to place a block above their head as well. So they're stuck in a little one by one. I can shift here and just instantly kill them pretty much now i don't know if this is actually gonna work or not and hopefully someone actually comes to the base so we can try it out i doubt it though but essentially that's the goal i don't know if it's gonna work out the best but we'll give it a shot we'll see if it works or not but with that part finally complete i think i'm happy with how this base turned out once again a huge shout out to my faction for completing this all i barely did anything anyways guys i think with that said that'll pretty much bring us to the end of this video i'm sorry if it's a little bit shorter than usual but i got a whole bunch more content coming very soon so make sure you stay tuned and with that said have a great rest of your day and i will see you in my next one